Hi there. In this video on how to use SimN 3G, we're going to be discussing the patient monitor. So here's your patient monitor laptop. You know it because it has a green sticker in the bottom left-hand corner that says patient monitor. And just like the control laptop, power on is here. Login's the same as the username. Case sensitive, so SimN 3G with the appropriate upper cases. We're going to log in. And this time, we're looking at Laridol Patient Monitor, as opposed to the instructor interface. So double-click to start the Patient Monitor application. Again, we're going to ignore any of these warnings for now. And make sure you double-click. And it's going to start up just like the other one. Similar. Uh, similar screen, you have to connect again to the mannequin. Only difference here is because we already have the control laptop running, it tells us that there is already a simulation running. And it says it started by 3G IPC SimN 3G. So that's fine. So we're going to still, still connect to that one. And here we go. So here we have our monitor. So this is our default monitor setup. Um, it is uh, touch screen, so SPO2, we're going to talk about O2 sats in another video. And then we can start all our waveforms. Um, another interesting thing with this laptop is the monitor will twist. So for your students, this will look more like an actual patient monitor and not just a laptop. Uh, it only twists one way. There's a little arrow on here, so make sure you follow that arrow. If it's not twisting the way you're trying, don't force it. Um, patient monitor, you have different options. Uh, if we click these arrows, we can set our QRS volume. Now, the laptop volume is, is obviously very low here, so uh, we're not hearing it right now. But... Um, It's muted. Well, this is how you would set the QRS volume. And we can go back to the main screen. And um, one thing, though, if we did want to change how this uh, monitor looked, that's something we have to do in the control laptop over here. So, over here, and we want to change on the control laptop. Bring your mouse to the top, and this menu pops down. We click on Tools, and we go to Students Monitor Setup. It's the first option in Tools. Click on that, and sometimes what will happen is it will come up in the background. So, oh, here, well, here it is. So we're good. So here, this is our standard five-wave layout. And here are our other options. We have a four-wave layout where there's different um, stat, uh, vitals showing or the three-wave layout. So if you want something a little simpler that your students don't have to see all, of, all five of these waveforms, if you only want these four or these three, you select it, you can click Apply, and then we'll click OK. And if you see here, now we only have the three-wave layout. We can go back to our patient monitor, and it's also changed. So there, there are options, and they have to be changed only in the control monitor. Now, if we want to exit this when we're done for the day, we go to Main Setup. So we clicked here, and then we have different options. And we can say shut down monitor. And it asks us again to confirm, really shut down, and it's gone. And then you can shut the laptop down as you would with any other laptop. And that is how you use the patient monitor. 